Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. Today, it's time to stuff my envelopes for what I'm going to spend this next coming week. If this sounds like something you'd like to watch me do, please stay tuned. Okay, so I have my calculator because I'm probably going to need that. I have my two binders and I have my sheet, which is ready to go. For those of you who watched my unstuffing, you see I have a lot of negative numbers. And so I went through and adjusted this a little bit this week. You know, I should have done that in the beginning because I had to cash stuff for five weeks, which meant, meant the amount that I was putting in each envelope was smaller to begin with. And I have carryover in like all these funds down here. You can see I have a large amount of carryover in there, and so I should have just stuffed more in the beginning, especially in the grocery ca uh, category, because I knew I was going to be buying foods for my friends to visit. Anyhow, that's neither here nor there, because I have taken care of it now. I will not end up being negative. Let's start, though, with my sinking funds, just because that's the biggest binder. I can get it off the desk. And... I have this money here that I am going to be stuffing today. Sorry about that. Hit the blinds. And that is $50, $100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 77, 79, 80, and $81. Lots of little amounts this month. In my travel, it is getting $10. So now it should have $1,222 in it. I really need to do a consolidation. That's why these bills are kind of weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, eleven hundred, eleven fifty, eleven seventy, eleven ninety, twelve hundred, ten, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, and twenty-two. Twelve hundred and twenty-two dollars in travel. When my friend is here, I'm going to give her some money for my one of my reservations in the Pacific Northwest. And so I'll be taking some money out of this to get that reservation paid for. And this is getting, what is it getting? It's getting $50. So $771. Just grab this $50 bill here. Let's count this. One, two, 53, 54, 55, 56, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 7, 750, 755, 57, 59, 61, 63, 65, 67, 69, 70, and 71. 771. That's what I'm supposed to have. I think my reservation's a couple hundred dollars. And cruising is getting $10. Sorry, I did book another short cruise for later in the year. And so there is going to be some money coming out of this if I can ever get a hold of anyone. 705, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 56, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 90, 95, 97, 99, 701, 3, 4, and 5. The cruise I booked is another free one. All I'm paying is the port fees, but I'm paying those for both people, and then they're gonna get the parking. So that works for me. Miscellaneous Large is getting $15. This is Monday for me. I'm pretty sure I know what that is, but yeah. This is Monday for me. I hope you all are having a nice Monday. Of course, I am retired, so that kind of changes Monday for me <laughs> versus those that are working. 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90, 410, 430, 40, 50, 5, 60, 5, 70, 72, 74, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. This lane is large, has 479. I don't have anything I need in here right away, I don't think. And my van is getting $10. This is for miscellaneous things to buy for my van. 
I have been buying some stuff. 206. But so far, I've just taken it out of my monthly stuff because it's just been tiny things. Like I wanted some storage bottles so I could put just a little bit of mayonnaise in and pack it in the in the ice chest, etc. So 206, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 90, 2, 4, 6, 8, 200, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Anyhow, so I didn't bother taking that out of my sinking funds in my van. They were, you know, $6. I was already at Hobby Lobby, so I just took them out of miscellaneous. In my events, formerly known as fun, but it's actually far more like things like events, concert tickets, that kind of stuff. It's getting $10. I just usually would not have it in my regular spending budget a month to buy like a concert ticket. Especially, I like to go to shows like off-Broadway shows, and those are like $200 a ticket. Expensive. $344. 1, 2, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, and 4. $344. I am getting enough. I can start looking for something to go to. Right now, I'm so busy traveling, though, that I don't want to lock myself down to a event and then have to pass up a traveling opportunity. Electronics is getting $50. It's going to bring it to $134. I did notice that my iPad went on sale for $50 off and so I put in for a price correction and they are going to be crediting my credit card $50. So I will be able to put that back into this fund here which will help because after I pay back my toys, this should still leave me enough money to either replace my Apple Watch this year or my Buds. Either one of them could go at any time. I'm not gonna replace them until they die, but you know, that could happen. So I should have 134 left in the electronics right now, but remember I owe 200 to uh, toys. 51, 10, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I'll have enough money to pay that back if I get that credit into my credit card this week. Then when I step next week, I'll be able to pay back this category. Toys is getting just one little dollar. I've had to get some stuff st stuffed more aggressive, like, like the Pacific Northwest trip, but I always like to put something into these envelopes every week and watch them grow. 10, 20, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31. When I save less in a category and I just make that up later. These envelopes all have an annual budget and they all end up getting that no matter when I do it. But things that need paid first of the year, of course, have to be preloaded. And planners is getting just $1 for $54. It's almost that time of the year that they'll replace, they'll release the new planners. And when that happens, I will need to replace two planners that run July through July. 20, 40, 2, 4, 6, 8, 52, 3, and 4. 54 dollars. That should be enough. By the time June gets here, it should definitely be enough to buy my two planners. Medical is getting 12 dollars. I have a deposit or a dentist appointment coming up in April, which is pretty much all this needs money for. $2.95 because I just bought a pair of glasses. And this is getting $12. Come on, money. This should now have $2.95. 51, 52, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 80, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I wish my savings challenges could be as calm as this. I'm still working on trying to, try to make them a little bit less chaotic. You know, flipping here, flipping there, flipping there. I think part of the problem is I have too many challenges in each envelope. So as I am getting done with those, I'm not going to replace them right away. HOA is getting $10. It's going to be 91 total. 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65, 70, 2, 4, 6, 8, 82, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
eight, nine, ninety, and ninety one. And my escrow, this is my standard escrow short that I plan on because as they raise the value of properties, it causes your escrow to be short from the previous year. So I am just collecting some of this in advance to be ready for that shortage next year. And 50, 70, 85, 95, 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I did find out that they're not collecting still the correct amount of escrow until May. And so I'm stuffing that separately, but I'm going to hold that in my long-term interest-bearing account until such time they ask for it, which will be next May. I still have their money from last year. I'm waiting to pay them. All right, that's my spent, which I don't do this time. Okay, now let's get to my variable binder. And this one is going to have enough to make up for all those negatives. And I stuffed 218, 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 80, 85, 87, 89, 91, 93, 95, 97, 99, 201, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. I have hardly any fives, so a bunch of stuff put, got twos in it. In my food and eat out, and you know what? Let me grab a couple of these and put them to the side because I know I need new trackers. So food and eat out. It is getting $70, which is going to bring it to positive 35. And it got 20, 40, 50, Five, what, 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 70. So 20, 40, 50, 65, 67, 68, 69, and 70. And now I need to take 20, 30, and 5, and I need to put that, it's going to have to go back into my spent at the end of the video because. That didn't balance because I had these negatives. So 20, 30, 2, 3, 4, and 5. $35 is what I have to spend on groceries this week. And should be doable because I have everything I need for this week. I'll just need maybe some diet or something like that. Paper and cleaning. This is one I needed the new tracker for. And this is going to get, yeah, did it backwards. That's okay. This is going to get $5. It was at negative one, so it's going to give it four. And I'm going to, yeah, I did that wrong. That's okay. I'll do it this way. Okay. And then I need to take two $4 back to the bank. And now this is going to have $1 in it. And I had put a five in there, so I'm good. That's okay. Later, I'll just put two, two twos and a one or a five and something that I had, two twos and a one. Health and Beauty is going to get $5. This one was not negative. So this just gets five. And now it'll be 10. Miscellaneous has nothing in it. It is getting $30. So it'll bring it to positive 12. And I did a 20 and a 10, but I need to pay back $18. So I'm going to put this 20 in and take a two. So 10 and $12 in miscellaneous. All right. These are all getting caught up. Whew, I'm not going to let that happen again. I get paid monthly, so I could put more money in the first of the month in these. I am really determined to stuff them every week because even though I pay myself monthly, I live weekly right? It's, if I get myself all my spending money at the beginning of the month, I'd go out and spend it all or all my grocery money and I'd spend it all. And then I wouldn't have any money left. I wouldn't have any money left to do what I wanted to do. And with things like groceries, I wouldn't want to eat anything that I'd bought clear at the first of the month. 
Okay, so I should have $17 left. I need to pay back $9. Is there 11 in here? Nope. Okay, I'm going to get some change. I'll be right. Let's make sure I balance after making change. 10, 15, 20, 2, 4, 5, 6. Okay, and then I need to leave myself just $17 in this envelope. 17, and I'm paying back 9. 5, 7, 8, 9. Whew! I cut a bunch of that out of there, folks, but it was tough. In my crafts. Look at that, there's money in there. It wasn't negative, yay. Things are about to get easier. In crafts, I put in $10. And I just put a 10. Now I have 12. In spending. You know what, why does everything have to be so messy? Come on. In spending. I put in $15, and this is one of those, I think I did a, nope, I did a 10. I think I'm going to do a 10 and a 5, because I happened to take the 5 earlier. 10, I'm sorry, 20, 30, 40, and $45. If it doesn't work out, I will just make change, but you know, two twos and a one always equals 5. And gas. Gas had plenty in it. Ah, I've got to go get gas today before I go pick up my friend from the airport. It is getting $24. So that should make it $247. And it got a 20. And two twos. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 5, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is for more than just gas. It also pays my oil changes, and I think it'll even cover my car registrations. Although I am driving a lot more now, so I'll be spending more of that gas money. So maybe not car registration. Clothes is getting $15, so that should bring it to $310. 10, 1. 2, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, 5, 90, 95, 97, 99, 301, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 10. $310. I desperately need a consolidation. I can get through this week. I'm going to have to do it before I stuff next week. Gifts. is getting at ten dollars so it should be 402 one two three seven eight nine four hundred one and two I just do one gifts so this actually grows pretty big that's what I do for everything carryover, aka life happens, is getting eight dollars. I bet that's what I have right there. So 486 is what it should have now. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. And one, two, 53, 20, 40, 50, 65, 67, 69, 71, 73, 75, 77, 79, 81, 83, 4, 5, and 6. $486. On this bills buffer, this is going to go out. I decided just to go back and change my budget. It was getting too confusing. I like doing my bills buffer in the individual categories so I can see what they are. This is my escrow short that gets done at the end of the month. That's when I was talking about the company not taking out the money yet. 
So now I believe this was 190 is what I should have had in here. Yes, for last week, this should be 190.66. So this could be 190 or 191 if it's balanced. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 40, 50, 5, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. All right. So I did all those negatives correctly and everything balanced in the end. That is how I like it. Please have a great week, you all. I have pre-recorded my savings challenges, so those will come out to you um, on schedule. And take a walk. It's going to be a great week. Bye.